Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you some social media tricks. Um, I'm going to show you exactly what I do, how I do it, uh, and exactly where I get a lot of my business. Uh, well, and I actually do get a lot just from social media. So I'm actually going to share my screen and show you guys everything. So the first thing that I generally do is I will try to think of something that I'm trying to advertise that day. Um, and I will usually go to Canva. That is my go-to place for creating anything. Uh, if you guys don't know what Canva is, uh, it is a free website uh, that you can design literally anything you want, um, or you could actually purchase it and then get a lot of other cool effects. Um, what's cool is I actually did purchase Canva for the office. So if you guys just let me know that you wanna use Canva, all I have to do is create you as part of the team um, and then you get all the free tools, um, all the tools that I paid for, uh, which is really, really awesome. So that's the awesome James team. Um, but here you can see just some other cool stuff. Uh, for instance, if you're just going to do like a holiday post, uh, they have a bunch of Memorial Day stuff here. Just say if you want to do Halloween, you just literally type in Halloween and then boom, there's a bunch of different things that you can choose from. Um, so normally what I'm doing on social media is I usually advertise myself, um, me with a closing or anything like that. Uh, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna show you what I would usually do to create uh, kind of a boosted post and get views off of it, but also post on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that above. Uh, so I'm gonna start it on Canva and then bring it to all those places. Um, so let's create a design. Uh, I usually go based off of an Instagram post because I will post on Instagram and then share it to Facebook and Twitter on that same time. Um, so let's start with Instagram and then it has the correct sizing that I need. Um, then I basically can go wherever I want at this point. Uh, just say there's a closing photo that I want to, uh, to showcase. So right now I'm actually just gonna find a random person on here. Right, we'll just choose this photo for right now. So it automatically puts in the template and from here I can go wherever I want. So I'm gonna say um, closing day sold in two days. Now what's cool about this is I could use their template or add stuff. So right now I'm just using their template. I can adjust the sizes. Let's just say I want this bigger. Um, they had something cool over here. That's pretty neat. Let's bring that back down. I could change the photo in and out. So like photos that I already have, um, I can go in here and let's just say I want to add the house. Um, and it was literally as easy as just dragging and dropping. And then I can move the photo to position it correctly. So let's make that centered. Uh, let's say I want this not green anymore. I want it, let's go yellow. We'll choose these to be black. And then we'll choose that to be black as well. And then this to be black too. And then you can just change the positioning. So I'm gonna position and let's just say, so, ooh, not that centered. Okay, it's all right. So it's actually grouped together. What I'm gonna do is ungroup and now I can move it around. So I wanna center it there. And then let's just say, we're gonna center this as well. Actually, we'll make that bigger first. Boom, closing day, sold in two days, and then change my phone number, boom. So say this is the post that I want to post today. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna download it uh, with the, the purchase version um, you know, I can ask for a transparent background. So if this was white, I could drag it over other stuff. Um, but let's just say I want it as a, um, we can add animation, which is kind of neat. Boom, we do a pan block. That's pretty neat. How about a rise three side, simple. Do the block, that was kind of cool. So it's coming in a movie format. Let's go to pan, fade. Animated GIF, we're gonna download. And at this point, uh, that's when you can upload to Instagram, Facebook, whatever it may be. Um, I actually already have Facebook and Instagram already up. So, not now, look at this. 
Robert Rogers doing his thing with upscale avenues. So this is exactly this kind of stuff that I'm talking about. I'm gonna go like it, um, but I can guarantee you he took this, put it on Instagram, directly share it on Facebook, and then put it on Twitter. Um, and that's how you get full, full circle social media. And because I do this so often, um, especially with this social media, I get a lot of friends and family hitting me up, um, saying, hey, Austin, can you help me buy or sell a house? Uh, you know, I just went to a, a funeral not too long ago where I haven't seen a lot of these people for 12 years. I haven't talked to them for maybe 12 years as well. And uh, almost all of them knew I was doing real estate, which is amazing because all they see is my social media. Um, and so I actually just had a friend from middle school come in and say uh, that they um, want me to help them purchase a house because uh, the social media aspect they see all the time. I've literally inbred it. In embedded it in their brain um, that I'm the go-to person for this. All right, uh, so now what I've got here is, I'm gonna go save this somewhere in a random spot. I'll just say animation for real estate. We're gonna save. And now I'm gonna go upload it to Facebook and Instagram. So if I was to do this here, uh, you know, I can add a post, Instagram, whatever. Uh, normally I would be doing this for my phone. Uh, so I would actually just save it in my Dropbox go to my phone, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, but here, I'm just gonna show you the desktop version. So if I'm gonna go here, let's just say I'm on my personal page, um, I'm gonna go upload this photo video. But the main goal of social media is embedding in everyone's brain that you are the go-to person. Um, so social media I love because it's a free platform that you can use all over. Um, there's a bunch of different uh, times and best days to post. Uh, you really gotta look at your content, what you're posting. Um, I try to make it more relevant stuff. I don't try and bombard people all the time on my Facebook feed um, just because I feel like if you're doing that, uh, it, it's not going to go well because people are going to start unfollowing you. That's not what you want. So I did some research and try to figure out when the best times are to actually post on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, and when I was looking at it, it appears that Wednesday, uh, midday is usually the best time for Facebook, Instagram, and then Wednesday morning is the best time for Twitter. Um, and then really you want to avoid weekends. So we can see here, avoid Saturday and Sunday, avoid Saturday and Sunday, avoid Saturday, avoid Sunday. Um, and that's with all three platforms. And it's not because, um, it's, it's not because people just aren't on social media because people are usually doing other things you know when people are at work it sucks to say but you know we're on facebook twitter instagram just chilling a lot of time um and since this is taking so long i'm actually just going to share this um or save it as a regular png just because that animation is just taking way too long so we're going to say closing day we're going to go here and we're going to add in closing day just like team space there we go. Okay. So now I'm going to see it here. Um, sold this home in two days. Come check out my other houses for sale. And you can do a bunch of random stuff like that. Uh, usually when you add in feeling it or activity or if a check in or if you tag friends, it goes to multiple platforms at the same time. Uh, so that's the best part is like, you may not be in contact with someone, but because they're in contact with another friend of yours or the, another um, company that you like. So like if you tag Austin James, um, all the people that follow Austin James will see that. Um, if you tag a friend, so like just say you close on this house, you had a buyer or both sellers, uh, you tag both of them. Now it goes to both of their Facebooks. Now it goes to all those people at the same time. Um, and they're like, oh my God, they just sold that house in two days. Like I need to call this person. And this is where you get free referrals from just by posting on social media. Now, Dan goes another level um, when it comes to social media. And I'm going to actually show you guys this. Um, this guy actually spends about $2,500 a month when it comes to social media. But this stuff is legit. It's very relevant. It's very, very good. Um, you know what I mean? If we're just looking on here. Check it out. So this is a Facebook video that Dan um, paid someone to do because it's a bunch of aerial shots, looks great, but it makes him look more legit um, than other people. 
Uh, so here, when we're looking at other stuff, uh, Van is or Van Dan is doing stuff when it says like uh, how to win your bid with sellers. So let's actually just watch this for a second. Um, usually, these videos aren't too long. Let's What's up, everybody? It's Dan Inman again here with Inman Home Services. Dollars two hundred two hundred twenty-two dollars and. So that's good. Dan's posting out some relevant information, and by posting this knowledge, um, posting stuff like that to where you're just giving away info, um, people will tend to look for you for when they're looking for info. So instead of them going on Zillow and them calling the listing agent, what they're going to do instead is they're actually going to go call you because you're that person being given all the knowledge, and now they're going to reach out to you saying, hey, Austin, what do you think of this house? Um, I love doing that stuff. And honestly, that's why I get a lot of phone calls because I post out random knowledge or I did back in the day, um, to where people now look toward to me for that stuff. Um, so one of my favorites, uh, and I'll actually show you, which all of you guys can do. Um, so I actually post on AJI portal in case any of you guys ever want to look. Um, but I did a video on why Zillow is not good. Um, I'm just not a fan of Zillow. I know most people aren't. Uh, I know our MLS doesn't like Zillow um, because they're trying to take business away from us. So let me go under miscellaneous. Actually, I believe if I just click on this. There you go. So I did this video about two years ago. What's up, everyone? It's Austin Frangulis, your local realtor here in Hampton Roads. And uh, one thing I want to talk about is if you're looking to buy a house, I know you're looking on Zillow. I highly don't encourage you to look on there, but to help you out, if you are going to look, watch for this. They have a section on there that says estimated mortgage payment. When you're looking at that, make sure what the percentage says putting down. It always starts you out at 20%. So it always looks like you can afford this house when really you're putting down 20% on Zillow and in real life, you're going to put down three and a half percent or 5% or if you're military, nothing. So keep that in mind because that really, really affects your mortgage payment and how much you're going to be paying. So when you're looking on Zillow, I can't stop you. Don't do it. But if you do, please look at that and then readjust it to the actual percentage of what you're going to put down. Hope that helps. If you guys have any more questions, always feel free to reach out. Take care. So that's straight up just a minute long video that I posted um, because if I do a minute long, uh, it goes on Instagram very easily. If you're doing over a minute, you're gonna have to do what's called an IGTV video on Instagram, which is okay because you can do up to an hour if you upload from a desktop, up to 15 minutes if you upload from a phone, um, and you can still share it on Facebook and, and Twitter. Uh, but if you keep, usually keep it under a minute, uh, people tend to look longer, stay longer, they see the minute, they'll watch the full thing rather than seeing 16 minutes and try and skip through pieces. Um, so if I were you, I would either keep it like one or two minutes or 30 minutes, um, something where someone is dialed in the entire time. Um, that's where people have the most attention. Uh, anything past 30 minutes, people are usually going to lose attention span. So we try to not keep it that long. Uh, but this video here had like 11,000 views just solely from people sharing it. And I maybe got like six or seven clients out of it. Um, I put about $50 towards um, advertising. Uh, and with that advertising spend, you know, back in the day, they used to have it to where you can single out by income. Well, they don't have that anymore. So honestly, it really, really is more difficult to do the advertising through Facebook or Instagram. Um, and I highly recommend asking professionals to help you. That's what Dan does. That's what makes him successful. So instead of him spending money on leads, he's spending money on a marketing team that is doing the stuff for him. So he creates the content, they edit the content, content and then they put it out there um so i recommend doing stuff like this because people will watch your videos and when you guys post a video on instagram or social media or facebook they're gonna be more likely to watch you or pay more attention to you than just looking at photos so even though we don't all like getting in front of a camera or you guys get nervous you know they do make systems where you can easily edit videos um and I didn't have a Mac or anything not too long ago, but now that I do, I love this new program called iMovie, uh, which I use all the time uh, for all of my stuff to where I could just go in and edit. So like, for example, let's just say we've got this podcast with Paul. Um, I can go in and edit whatever I want. 
So I'll go ahead and click here. Started and where you are today. Yeah, so it's been a fun, a fun journey. Um, first off, uh, so shout out to anyone that's helped me. So something like that, I added in a quick little Zoom, which you can easily take out or just say you don't like this word. I'm going to do Control-V and this word. So let's just say I didn't like this phrase. So Paul, tell me a little bit about your background. I'm just going to easily click on this, take it out. And background with construction work. Look at that. It's it's super simple. This is all free through um, if you have an iMac or whatever like that. Um, I know it's not even called iMac, just Mac, but whatever. So Apple has some really cool stuff. Uh, if you don't have Apple, uh, there is Adobe Premiere, which I use as well. Um, I've got it right down here. I've got Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator, and then Premiere Pro, which is the video editing software. Um, all of that is great. Um, or you can purchase one and it is called, uh, let's see here, hold up. It is called Video Leap. Um, it's about $100 for the entire year, uh, but that's actually where I make a lot of my videos, especially my quick videos. Um, so if we actually go to our Facebook page, our private agents page, click on it. Uh, I use this all the time for you guys uh, whenever I'm posting something out there. Um, so for instance, this video right here, uh, I use this video and added all these cool little things. Um, I could edit the, so um, the audio, the video a little bit. Um, so like just say for example, you see the video like this, I can click on it and add in this cool little stuff that zooms in and out. Them. So. Uh, reviewing contracts or any company forms, that's another question uh, that you should kind of direct towards. Definitely go to uh, my side. Uh, I can answer all those questions. Or if you ever have any questions on or suggestions on adding to the forms or you want a specific form, feel all free right. to reach no, out. No, we're listening to Dan. Come on, I'm also going to be doing an inventory for our go. office. I know we have so a lot. So you can see how the stuff slides in, which is pretty neat. Uh, it's super easy to use. Uh, the video is now smaller, but that's so it can add in all those extras on the top and the bottom. Um, I love using Video Leap. It is very cool. And something that I implemented recently are these audio mics. And that's just because it makes the audio sound so much better. Now, of course, none of that was in, in the past was done with uh, professional lighting or um, sounds like that. But like, you can easily just go on the phone, take a quick one minute video, and you guys will 100% get more views, more followers. Um, and if you keep pushing out content, then people are just going to look to you just not even thinking about it. They're just going to look to you when it comes to I'm looking for a house or I'm looking to buy or sell, whatever it is. Um, so about half of my business straight up comes from Facebook. And that's just because anytime I have a closing, I post a closing photo. Anytime I sell a house quickly, I'm posting that as well. Um, I use Canva almost every single day to create something random, whether it's for you guys, whether it's for the public, whether it is for, I'm a client, just whatever it is, Canva is super easy to use and you all have the free contact to it for the, um, uh, the paid version, which I'll give to you. You just have to give me your email address. Uh, and other than that, than that uh, the, the whole spending advertising for Facebook has really, really changed. In the past, I knew how to do it, but not anymore. So I recommend doing what Dan does where he pays a marketing team. Um, I don't know any marketing companies myself. Uh, so I just do a lot of the organic stuff to where I'll share it and then friends and family will share it. And then that's how it goes out from there. Uh, so that's really my suggestions is just post as much as possible. Try and do this thing where it's like posting at Wednesday at noon um, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And if you're doing all three of those all the time, um, and if you're posting at least two, three times a week, it doesn't always have to be real estate related, but if it's something to where people will think of you when they see a house and now they want to call you instead of the listing agent, that is the goal. So just consistently post on social media and then it will benefit you guys in the long run. So I hope some of this stuff helps for you guys. Um, you know, social media is kind of tough and you guys will get better at it the more you do it, but just stay consistent, post actual good content, not just something random, um, whether it's something funny, something knowledgeable, whatever it is post good content, and then the results will come back. It's not immediate. Real estate is a long-term game. So as long as you do this consistently and just put it in people's brains that you're the go-to person, then it will prevail for you. So hope this helps, guys. Um, just, again, reach out if you guys ever have any questions. Take care, everyone.